More and more people are having breathing problems, either during the daytime or at night while sleeping. Claire Mendenhall is with a respiratory therapist who will tell us more about the growing demand for his services. Whenever you're ready, big deep breath in <gasps> and blast it out. What does a respiratory therapist do? Respiratory therapists do lots. We help people breathe better. We give medications to help open up their airways. We do that with um, the physician. Physician has to order the treatments. Uh, we test breathing to see how much air they can breathe in and blow out. Um, we help people that uh, need help breathing on ventilators. So lots of different things. Go 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 go. Good job. What did you have to do, go through to be where you are now? To become a respiratory therapist, um, you have got to take um, a number of science and math classes. You have to be pretty strong in the sciences, chemistry and biology. Not a lot, but just enough. Most um, respiratory therapists go through two years of school, and then you sit for a big national exam that is a couple hundred questions, which seems like a really big, um, big exam. And it tells the number, and again, that tells how much air you're able to blow out. Someone with really a small number, uh, less than 80%, that kind of tells us for someone that age, that height, and that sex, it gives us an idea of maybe they're not blowing out as much air as what we might think that they would. What makes a good day for you? Being able to spend good quality time with um, our patients, um, educating them about whatever disease process they have, whether it's emphysema or asthma, um, sleep apnea, any heart issues that we have that we help take care of too. Um, make them better understand what the cause is and how to better care for themselves and get them closer to home. And when that happens, um, it makes us think that maybe there's something going on in their lungs, maybe some type of disorder, or it's, um, it's a helpful tool and help them diagnose. So what would you say to a kid who might want to become a respiratory therapist? Study in school, do some of the basic science classes, some chemistry, biology, a little bit of math. Um, those are important and in order to get to um, attend college to learn a bit more about respiratory and to be able to become a respiratory therapist. You need to have at least a good science background. You need to be able to communicate well. Um, and, but most importantly right now is just stick to the books and stay in class and um, that's important. Thanks Mike for telling us about your job. Thank you. Now back to Jake. Now let's go to Nicole, who's at the Wellness Center with Trish, who's a physical therapist. 